What's up, Pete? I don't like that. I start over. <laughs> What's up, peeps? What's going on? We are here to do the That's That Stuff I Don't Like tag. Ish. And I know we're late, but yeah. hey, we still want to do it. Exactly. So, I'll start it off. The stuff that I don't like, oh, something that really irks my nerves. When you're out to dinner eating and somebody at a table close to you starts blowing their nose at the table that's that stuff i don't like oh lord that irks the crap out of me and it makes me want to thunder punch them in the throat <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what i don't like when like she said out at a restaurant and the person walking past your table they got to put their butt on your table <laughs> Whoo! just want to take that fork and just Damn. That's that stuff I don't like. That's nasty. That is so nasty. It's like, come on, man. Really? All this space, and you got to put your rectum right on my food? Mm hmm. I don't know if you washed. Or, like, we were in Cracker Barrel Sunday. This dude got up from his table, walked up and down the aisle, coughing. Ooh. Re really? Or sneezing. Where they do that at? Why you ain't stay at your table with that foolishness? Why you got to walk and spread that crap up and down? That's that stuff I don't like. You know what else I don't like? I don't like when people are in public and they sneeze and won't cover their mouth. Mm. And it seems like they sneeze right towards you. That is... Mm. That's disgusting. Make sure you just want to kick them in the throat. <laughs> That's that <laughs> stuff I don't like. Now, another thing that irks my nerves... Creditors. First off, don't start calling me soon as 8 o'clock hit in the morning. Everybody don't want to get up at 8 o'clock, especially on a Saturday morning. You call me and then you call and say, ask, me, ask for me by my first name. Excuse me, do I know you? Do we know each other? I know I owe you. But you don't know me like that. No. Respect me. Exactly. That's the stuff I don't like. Mm -hmm. Or when they call you... And they got an attitude like you owe them personally. Mm. It's <laughs> Chick, this is just a job for you. Trust me. Mm -hmm. This is not your money. I don't owe you personally. That's that stuff I don't like. Don't call me with an attitude already. Because you're lucky, first of all, I answered the phone. Mm -hmm. Because I saw you calling. I got call ID. Whose phone does it nowadays? Exactly. So the fact that I answered lets you know that I'm really I'm willing to work something out with you. But when you call me with an attitude, you get nothing but the Southern Bell Rock. You know another thing I don't like? When you're in the mall and people are trying to sell you stuff. And I understand that's what they're trying to sell you. And you tell them no thank you, but they keep talking to you anyway as you walking away. Mm -hmm. And all you want to say is like, look, dude, go Oh, I don't want it. I don't want it. That's, I don't like that. That's the stuff you don't like. I don't like that. <laughs> now, let me tell you what makes me ready to fight. I don't like bad kids. I love kids, but I don't like bad kids. And when you got rotten kids, like say I'm in the middle of a conversation with your parents and this child feels like it's their duty to jump in the middle of the conversation, where they do that at? Because when I was growing up, you got popped in the mouth. That's that stuff I don't like. All this got busted up. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, you're not on my level. Sit down somewhere. Shut up. And now I'm looking at your mom cross-eyed or your daddy because... Uh, uh, where they do that at? <laughs> not in my house. No. Not around me. Mm -hmm. And then, what I don't like, don't bring your child to my house and just let them run like they got good sense because uh, uh, my children don't do that. And so your child ain't finna come here and tear up my stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you're not gonna talk to them, I'm gonna show enough to get on them. Mm -hmm. But then, you know what? I'm gonna ask both of y'all to leave. Exactly. Because that's that stuff I don't like. Raise biscuits. We were at a restaurant tonight and this lady had... Four or five? Four kids. Four kids. She's sitting at the table. The kids all running around the restaurant. She on the phone talking loud. Mm. And it's like, who's controlling the kids? They And they irking the people that work there. Really? That's, that's that, that stuff. That's that stuff. You know what else I don't like? <laughs> Why when people are on the cell phone, 
I got to hear your conversation. Why? That is so stupid and that's ratchet, y'all. Especially in the <laughs> checkout line. Get off the phone or at least put them on hold so that you're not holding everybody else up. Because you're on the phone talking to Bomquisha or whoever she is <laughs> mm -hmm. and you got to be all loud. We don't care who Poo Poo slept with mm -mm. or that the fact or the fact that he ain't come home last night. That's not my business. I don't care. We don't care about your cousins, brothers, baby daddy, baby mama, uncle, nephew, aunt. <sighs> saw somebody at the club last week. And baby daddy. I hate that term. Or baby mama. I or hate baby that. mama. Mm. What's their name? The baby's mother, the child's father. Exactly. They have a name. Yes. Really? Baby mama, baby daddy. That's so hood. And y'all say it like it's a term of endearment. And it's not. It's not. No. That. Come on. Do better. This is something I know both of us can't stand. Parents who use children as pawns. Oh. Oh. Do you see this? That's that mm. make you want to whoop somebody type stuff. Yes. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? Because first of all, it's not the child's fault that you and the father or you and the mother are going through your issues. I don't even think the child should be bought into that or be involved in that. You don't have to like the daddy. The daddy don't have to like the mama, but y'all still need to be able to get along for the sake of that child. Yes. Somebody needs to be the adult in the relationship and you should not use the child as a pawn to hurt him or her. Yes. Really? Stupid. Another thing I can't stand when, along that line, don't ever tell your child that the other parent don't love them just so you supposedly hurting the other parent because you end up hurting the child mm -hmm. you're not hurting the other parent as much as you are hurting that child yeah that's that stuff that makes you want to gut a hoe oh <laughs> yeah Kick a dude in his don't 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 down talk the woman or the man in front of the child because they're half the other person. They're half you and half the other person. So what's that say about you if you talking bad about this person that you decide to sleep with? Because they ain't tell you to sleep with them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So if uh, she's a... Uh, then what'd that make you? And the thing is, you may not like that person. They may not be the best person in the world. But that's not for you to make that child's decision. That child needs to be able to grow up and have respect and love for both parents. And when he or she is old enough, make their own decisions. Mm -hmm. Don't try to make the decision for the child. Yes. Don't influence them because of what you're feeling or what you may have experienced with that person. Because that person may not have done you right, but it doesn't mean that he or she is not going to do right by their child. Their child. Exactly. And even if they don't, let that child still make his own decisions in the end because I guarantee you, if you raise them right, yes, they'll know the deal. Mm -hmm. And then they'll come up with their own choices. Don't make the choice for them. That's that stuff I don't like. You know, I'm changing the subject right now. You know what I can't stand? Sagging pants. Don't know if I don't see your dirty drawers, your rusty crack. I don't want to see it. And I'm telling you now, as a business owner, you come in my business, talk about you want a job, you don't want to work for me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ah, no. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you what irks my nerves, but I do it. Gun popping. Really? Really? That grinds my freaking nerves. But I do it. She sure not do. I love her, <laughs> but she's a pop. I mean, I, she. I be like. <laughs> and the thing is now, when it's brought to my attention, I will throw it away because it don't bother me when I do it. But it bothers the crap out of me when somebody else does it. Mm. That don't make sense to me. I don't know how to pop no gun. I'm glad. Cause <laughs> she tell me I ain't supposed to chew gum anyway because she said I don't know how to chew gum. But you know, everybody know how to chew gum. She just said I chew like a cow. Anyway, <laughs> let me tell you something else that I don't like. When you go to the refrigerator to get something to eat and you find that there's crumbs or maybe just the juice of what was left over 
and they just stuck the bowl or the pan back in there because they didn't want to wash it. That's that stuff I don't like. Make you want to chop them in the throat. Or make you want to punch them in the head. <laughs> yeah, he does Ooh. that. Yeah, she does. Don't even try. She he does. does it. I'm the one that's always... She do it, too. She's I'm about to boy. choke up out. I'm about to choke it out. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. now let me tell you. The Me Too person. You say that you've done something or that you have experienced something and they always want to either me too, they've done it, or they want to one-up you. Hmm. Oh, I can't stand those people. That's that crap I don't like. The, you, I'm going to tell you. You know what I don't like also? People who are so negative that they try to draw you down. Woe is me. Life is not that bad. You woke up today. Be glad that you woke up. First thing they want to tell you about is all their pains or what they ain't got. Not using proper English when I say it, but that's how they talking to you. I ain't got this. I ain't got... Save all that. Keep you it to yourself. some cheese with that wine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the world's smallest violin to go along with that. <laughs> get over yourself exactly that's that stuff I don't like be grateful another thing I don't like women who don't dress age or size appropriately, appropriately. just because it'll fit does no, not no, no, mean no. It don't fit. you should put it on your body it don't fit that's no, the problem just <laughs> because they make it in your size still Whoa. don't mean you should wear it yes that goes for dudes also. Just because they make a Sean John shirt in quadruple X, don't mean it's going to look good on you. It just looks like a big old tent. I cannot stand to see a big old fat girl or a big old fat dude walking around in a medium outfit. Or something that's smarge. Smarge. <coughs> medium or smarge. Fit. Get your clothes to fit your body. I don't like to see rolls. Just rolls all over the place. And <clears throat> don't nobody want to see your black tail hanging out. Mm -mm. So the summer is coming. The spring is coming. Cover your behind. Don't nobody want to see your tail. That's just nasty. Why are you wearing underwear outside of the house? I mean, just on the outside. Cover your butt. I know there's a new trend that's trending around that women don't wear underwear. And then they wear these low-waisted pants. So when they sit down or they lean over, you see nothing but crack. <laughs> and black back. I I don't want to see that. That's not cute. That's not cute. It ain't cute. That's that. that. Yeah, that's not cute. That's that stuff we don't like. Let me tell you another thing that I don't like. I don't like people. And I'm just going to say, there are a lot of women out there who go dress the nine. And then as soon as the dude talks to them, they catch an attitude. I mean, why are you going to put on all your war paint and then catch an attitude? Because somebody says, hello. Y'all don't know me. Whoa. I take my hello back then. Shoot. Now, what I don't like is when you're out, just because you're looking good, don't mean that every dude that holler at you, you got to talk to him. And I'm saying I'll speak. Everybody's worth the time of day. Mm -hmm. But that... Yo, ma, what's up, babe? All that you don't know me like that. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, will get you, will get my attention. That what's up, yo, ma, yo, 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 what's that will get you ignored, straight up ignored. Mm -hmm. Because nah, don't try me like that. Yeah, that's that s I don't like. Yeah. Now, another thing that irks me when you are in the grocery store or whatever kind of store, and the person at the register does not greet you. They got an attitude and or they're holding a conversation with their work associate. And you got to hear about what happened at the club last night or who didn't come to work or who about to get fired. And they just talking, cross talking all across the counters or whatever and have not acknowledged you one time where they ringing up your stuff. Where they do that at? Thunder punch to the throat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you another thing I don't like. 
And I know most of you guys have experienced this. Well, hopefully you haven't experienced this. When you go to the barber shop to get your hair cut, and your barber, he's standing over the top of you talking. <laughs> Why? When he leaned the chair back, he know that you about waist level, but he want to get real close to that chair. Dude, back up. You don't want no nuts on your lap. No, back up. You can edge me up without straddling my leg. Don't ride me. Woo! That's gay. Haven't had that experience. Well, I'm glad That's you that had stuff it. he don't like. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> That'd be like y'all going to the hair salon and she's like got y'all lean back because she knows she's doing something in your hair and she ain't washed. Just coming from the club. Mm. Yeah. Hot box. You ain't say his nuts were hot though. I, you ain't say they smell. Yeah. So that's kind of like apples and oranges. Mm -hmm. that, you could have said if she put her boobs all over you. That's kind of equivalent to him putting his nuts on you. But when you start bringing up stench, <laughs> that's that stuff I don't like. I don't want to smell nobody B.O. No. Oh, my God. You know what? I can smell myself before anybody else smells sure me. Sure, you're right. So my thing is, as soon as you smell yourself, you need to handle that. That's that stuff I don't like. Don't come out, and especially first thing in the morning, who in the heck got any business coming out funky or musty first thing in the morning? You ain't washed your tail. That's that stuff I don't like. Even if you washed your tail the night before and then freshened up wash, bird bath the next morning, you'll be clean. But don't come out, especially going to work or going to class, being funky. Everybody can't bird bath. No, if you no. got a high musk odor, and you know that you get stank quick, wash, handle that. Wash. Handle that. Change your clothes. Please. Change your clothes. The summer's coming. It's going to be hot. <laughs> so y'all buy more than one pair of jeans because them things will be able to walk you wherever you got to go. I'm talking about y'all women. Y'all put on them extra tight pants and you know it get hot I'm going to tell you like my mama told me you need to carry you a whole bag <laughs> <laughs> a whole bag what a whole bag consists of especially during the summer months you need to have your extra pair of underwear in there some deodorant a ziploc bag a washcloth and some soap so if you ever smell yourself starting to get a little hot mm -hmm. or a little tongue, mm -hmm. handle that. You can pull over somewhere, take care of that real quick, change that out. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Get you a whole bag. Keep an extra don't pair of clothes. smell you. Keep That's it. nasty. Keep an extra pair of pants because if you can smell yourself through your clothes. It's, t it's time to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. If you can smell yourself through your clothes, it, you, them pants got to go. That's that stuff I don't like. Now, mm -hmm. you ain't even got no business getting to that point. Now, mm -hmm. I understand, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes mm -hmm. you can get some deodorant and it'll stop working on you. Right in the middle of the day. You be like... Mm -hmm. I've had that happen before you. I mean, you got to switch brands, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because your body's gotten immune. Go handle that. You know what I'm saying? A little soap and water. Put on some deodorant. Yeah. I tell you now, what your body will never get you, uh, you know, get immune to, baby powder. You put some baby powder on... It'll help keep, you know, after you wash up at least. Wash, because you don't, and don't, don't think it's cute to be funky and then put cologne or <laughs> spray perfume on. Th that's not cute. That's nasty. It, y you just stink worse. Yeah, that's the stuff I don't like. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to tell you what else irks me. Don't be my friend when everything is going wrong in your life, but as soon as things start going well, I don't hear from you. It disappear. That's that stuff I don't like. I don't mm -hmm. need those type of summer friends. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you're a friend and then sometimes you want... Don't do that. i just rather you just stay where you at and let me stay where I'm at. And we're going to be all right. We're mm -hmm. going to be good. That's that stuff that will get you home. Mm -hmm. Don't play with me. Don't be the type of person, like she say, when everything is falling apart in your life, well, we need a guy's night out. Or a girl's night out. But then as soon as you get somebody... You don't hear from them. Until things are going bad. We married. So don't come and talk about, I need a guy's night out. 
I'm, I'm, me and my wife, we coming together. Because <laughs> anything I can do with you, I can do in front of her. I, I don't have no secrets. Bam. And what else? What else is that? There's something else I don't like. I, oh, my God. What I don't like is when I'm getting ready to say something, and I can't remember what I was getting ready to say. I don't like when I leave out one room to go get something else, but by the time I get there, I don't know what I was going to get. <laughs> so then I got to walk back to the other room just to try and remember what I was going to get. And then you be like, never mind. And then 15 minutes later, oh, I know what I was going to get. What else? It was something else I was getting ready to say. I don't like people who drive slow. When there's nobody in front of you on a two, you know, two lane highway, one going this way, one going the opposite way, and speed limit's 55, and they want to do 30. Oh my gosh. That's that. <laughs> I don't like. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is annoying as crap. Mm -hmm. You know what else I don't like? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to end this because we are already 20, almost 22 minutes into this thing. But if we think of some more stuff we don't like, there will be a part two. Part two. Coming to you. Peace. Peace. You know what I don't like? I don't like the fact that we had to end the video because we couldn't think of more stuff. We're going for real this time. Peace. Peace. <laughs>